What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rex Engine. I hope everyone had an awesome holiday, and I hope you're looking forward to getting into the new year and making some games. So without further ado, in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to make a character select screen in Rex Engine. So to do that, we're going to use a new component that I'm adding to the upcoming version of Rex that should be released um, any day now, and it's called the Swap Player component. So to access that, we're going to open up the Rex palette, which as always is under Window, Rex Engine, Rex Palette, and we're going to open up the Gimmick subheading under Rex Palette, and click on Swap Player. So that's going to create a Swap Player component for us. And if we look at this guy in the inspector, we can see there's two things on here. There's a Box Collider 2D, and there is the actual Swap Player component itself. So under the Swap Player component, the first thing is Start Type. This is a drop-down that's going to give us the option of On Collision, On Scene Load, or Manual. And this is basically when it's going to swap the player. So if we choose On Collision, then the player is going to change whenever we touch the Box Collider. If we choose On Scene Load, then the Box Collider doesn't matter anymore, and instead it's going to change our player when a new scene loads, or when, when the scene the Swap Player component is in loads. And finally, if we choose Manual, that means that we call it ourselves from a script somewhere. And then the option under it is Player, which takes a Rex Actor, and so you can slot in the prefab here for the player that you want to change. So the most complicated way to do, this, to do this is with manual. And because of that, that's what I'm going to do in this video, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a character select screen using this. Um, so let me exit out of this scene really quick, and I'm going to go to demo 15. And I'm just going to show you guys the two different characters that I've set up. So the first character is going to be Booster, who is the, the regular demo character. Um, he runs around, he's got a wrench, and he's pretty straightforward. And the second character, um, for this I thought it would be cool if I let you play as an enemy. So this is the second character, he's one of the Triceratops robots that's found in the demo. And so we can see this guy's a little bit slower. And his only action is he jumps on enemies and bounces on them. And he's also got a ton of health, so this is like our tank. So here's our character's select screen. And this is the anatomy of, this, of the character select screen. We've got um, a little menu here with the names of the characters, and this arrow which shows you which one is highlighted. Those are really straightforward. Um, they're literally just text fields. This is all text. Um, the arrow is text even. It's just a little graphic. Um, and so the main thing here is this character select menu, which I'm actually going to go into Mono Develop and show you guys how I built this. So the heart of the character select menu is the swap player component that I just showed you guys. And we've got it set to manual, which means we have to call it with a script to make it execute. And then we've got this character select menu, which is a script that I made just for this demo right now. So if we open this up in Mono Develop, um, I've already built this, but I want to go over it with you guys. So there's a couple things here. Um, we've got two Rex actors. We have the Booster prefab and the Triceravot prefab. And we can see those are here in the inspector. And those are where I'm slotting the two prefabs for the different players. Um, so those are just Rex actors. They're just the same as any other player you would use with Rex Engine. And I'm, I've just got one of those slotted into each of these slots. The slot under it is for the arrow graphic. Um, so we can see it's just the arrow, it's the graphic, 
um, it moves to show you what menu item is highlighted. And underneath that, there's a list of the menu items. Um, so there's two items in it. This is the text for Booster and the text for the Tercera bot. So this is all, this bottom half here is all just the graphics. The really important thing that's going to happen here is this swap player function. And this right here is the magic line of code. We're calling this on, this on the swap player component. And this is how we manually get it to change the character, is we call swap on it. And what that does when we call swap is it takes the player that is slotted in the player slot here, and it makes that the main character that you play as. So actually, let me show you guys this, this script in action before I show you guys the rest of what it does. So if we hit play, um, so I start off and it's got booster selected. I can press the down arrow and we select the other character. And you guys can see I've got the character select component selected right here. And in the inspector, you'll see the player here on the swap player script changes when I press up and down. So we've got booster and now we've got the tracera bot. And when I hit spacebar, that's going to load the first level with that character as the main character. So looking back at this in MonoDevelop, um, there's nothing here that's too complicated, and most of this is just, it's Unity related and not really Rex Engine related. Like the main Rex Engine thing is just calling swap on the swap player component. So the rest of this is really just a simple menu. Um, this is all in the update function. And this first thing here, this if exiting scene is false, this is just a check to make sure the player has not already hit the button to exit the scene. So as soon as you actually exit the scene and start loading the next scene, this is set to true, which basically means that you can't, you can't like activate the menu twice is what it's saying. So it's checking to see if you're pressing the space bar. And if you are, that's the one that's going to swap the player. And then on the title scripts, um, that's mostly irrelevant for this, for this demo. All it's doing is loading a new scene. So basically when you hit spacebar, it sets the player equal to the new player and then loads the new scene. Um, if you press the down arrow or the up arrow, all this code here is changing the menu. It's changing the menu selection. Um, so if you press the down arrow, it's saying um, go up in the menu or down, I guess. And if you press the up arrow, it's moving you back up in the menu. Um, and both of those call this on menu item highlighted thing. And all it's doing is it's looking at the swap player component and slotting in a different prefab for the player. So basically what this is saying is if we're on the first item in the menu, then make sure that swap player has the booster prefab set in its player slot. If we're on the second item in the menu, make sure we have the Tricerobot prefab slotted. Um, so that is it for this video. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you guys are still having an awesome New Year's holiday. See you next time.